The International House in Charlotte is turning a new page after someone vandalized its little free library. Early, earlier this year, books were thrown everywhere and the library was destroyed. It was a place people could trade and share books for free in the neighborhood. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris shows us how the International House is writing their own story with a new library. So this is from the original library. If this little free library could talk, um, it would have a story of its own to tell. It's a mixture of novels, the colorful paintings and woodwork. This was actually done by one of the local muralists, uh, Rosalia. Showed this stand in the community is loved and cherished by those who use it. There are always new books, so I love that people are coming in here checking books out, putting books in, in all different genres and uh, styles. But about a month ago, this story took a turn. International House leaders say someone vandalized and destroyed the library. Parts of the frame broken and books thrown on the ground. It didn't make sense that someone would um, be so heartless to do something like that. But the community didn't want the story to end there. Instead, they began writing a new future for the library. Instantly, people started responding, how can I help? What can I do? Neighbors donated wood, a new roof, glass, and even the paintings on the sides. Now they hope those who use this little free library will remember the passion of the community who put it back together. It's just a great reminder of how out of anything bad, a lot of good stuff can come. And allowed this tale to end with a happily ever after. In Plaza Midwood, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.